What do we got for this weekend, gents? What do we have? What do we got? What are we thinking? What are we feeling? Let's see. I mean, it's been a while. I had to dust off the old uh, messages with Juliana Pena. Oh, yeah. Uh, Miss and Vixen, the fourth of the uh, Parlay Pals. Nothing yet, so uh, we can just dive in. You think um, You think the break made her forget about us? Uh, no shot. No. No, no, no. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, so I'll just I'll throw the names in the randomizer and we can get this thing going, yeah? Let's do it. Boom. Rick will go first, Frank second, and I will go third. How are you feeling, Rick? Uh, wonderful. How about you? I'm feeling great, man. Third straight uh, dub on the way for the old parlay pals. How, uh, uh, by, not e- by the way, how are things it, at yeah. the, uh, the home base over there? Is it too hectic with the kids? What are we thinking? Looks hectic. There, uh, yeah, I mean, definitely looks hectic with this uh, <laughs> flank background. Um, the kids are outside playing with bubbles with Grandpa right now uh, in the backyard. Um, so it's oh, quite man. nice. It's quite That's pleasant, great. actually. I was, uh, I took a, I took a family trip over the break. I was ripping some bubbles with the, uh, with the nieces and nephews. It's good stuff. By the way, uh, is this your father or your wife's father? No, Holly's dad and stepmom are here. Still waiting for the day Mr. Jackman visits us here on. Oh, that's that's a highly I mean, anticipated. You, you saying this now? You you saying? See, he's <laughs> he come now. Well, I, I've already now said he's it. Coming. I've already now said it. Good. Coming. You're acting now like we don't coming. want this. Yes, we want. I assume him to come every in. day is a day. He, to show up. by the way, I for, I forgot to bring. He got that gift. I sent you a picture of it. He got that gift for you um, a while back. And I was supposed to bring it on Monday. He, he if, you, if you say this, he'll bring. He was. He texted me. He's like, "Did Ari? Did what did Ariel think? Did you give it to Ariel? Uh, he'll bring it. He'll bring it next." Oh, so time. now so he thinks I'm an asshole for not saying thank you. No, 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 no for sure. I told to him. him. I told him I didn't give it. Okay. okay. Um, but now that you've invited him, he'll bring it personally, and he will talk your ear off about it. So, he could have a seat uh, expect, in the back uh, with you guys. He could yeah, be on absolutely. air. Absolutely. I mean, Big I'm, Willie. I'm, Big I'm back here on the back bench solo right now. I mean, I'm I'm riding dirty back here. <laughs> so be happy dangerous. My dad's gonna be here every day now. He's we can, gonna be we there can hook him up with shot. the mic. Your, your seats, your seats wide open. Come on, Mr. Jackman. Uh, From one up, Jackman to, to another, dad, this is man. just the the honorary Jackman seat. He can hop right in. Uh, I would love. He to would see love it. nothing more. I would love to see it. Um, all right, what do we got? Um, okay, I'm gonna keep it simple. Give me uh, Carlos Ulberg. Uh, oh yeah, life. ladies' night. Yeah, minus two seventy. Who's he fighting? Yeah, Alonzo Menafield. Alonzo Menafield. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Frank. I also am going to keep it simple. Uh, Veronica Hardy. Oh, yeah. Know yourself. You you literally do know yourself, Frank. I also know yourself. <laughs> I walked up to Frank before the show. I uh, wrote down on a piece of paper. I wrote down Veronica Hardy. I said, Frank, who are you picking in the parlay pals? And he's just like, uh, Veronica Hardy. Showed him the paper. I was like, wow. Knew it. Now, knew it to be true. my question is, is this a, a pick with the heart or is it a pick with the mind? Oh, she's a diehard Tool fan. It's definitely That's with it. the heart. It's with the heart. I only pick with the heart. All right. Honestly, that is true. Frank is a big heart picker. I mean, we, Bobby King Green, Kayla Harrison, Amanda Serrano, Jake Paul. That's right. It's always with the heart. Uh, I mean, for me, it's it's also simple. Uh, you could you could call me somewhat of an addict. If if this man is getting in the cage, I am betting the under. Terrence T-Rex McKinney, action man, all the time, under two and a half, minus 550. I mean, 21 fights, 20 have gone under the one and a half, 17 have ended in the first round, never seen the scorecards. Terrence McKinney has never gone to the scorecards in his 21 professional fight career, which is just ridiculous. He doesn't know the feeling of getting the scorecards read. Uh, So under two and a half, Terrence T-Rex McKinney. I'm surprised no one's touching Derek Lewis. Are you jumping yeah, in? Yeah, doesn't feel like... Hey, you want in? No, but I mean, I always feel like... I don't know. I always feel like someone goes with an under with him, with a knockout with him, kill or be killed. I mean, he is a beast. Right. He is a beast. So nothing. We're not touching him. Or are you touching him with your picks? Is that a good... Uh, uh There's there's something in there, yeah. All there's right. something in there with that. Um, All right, yeah. Let's. I mean, let's dive right in. Uh, we We might as well. We start... With an underdog pick, I will be taking Chase Hooper against uh, Slava Claus. Love Slava Claus. Great boxing. Very good on the feet. But 
he does have a disparity when it comes to the grappling against Chase Hooper. I mean, he is a skilled grappler, and I think if he does get a takedown, which I believe he'll be able to, Slava Klaus sitting at about 34% takedown defense, uh, I think he's going to have a massive advantage. I think there's a gulf there, uh, and I just see a clear path to victory for him. Obviously, you know, he could get sparked out. Uh, we, we've seen him knocked out before, the Steve Garcia fight, uh, but with such a clear path to victory at underdog odds, uh, I really believe he can win this thing. So I will go with Chase Hooper next up. Been sitting on this one for a minute. Uh, this is why I've been excited for this. Robles, the Spagne, getting back in there. Uh, the Cuban and Ganu. Uh, I don't know how you can't be intrigued with this guy entering the octagon. Uh, all the hype surrounding him, all the accolades. Uh, and then he comes in against Josh Parisian and, and knocks him out in, was it 18 seconds? How long was it? And coming off of his back foot. Uh, I think this is a great matchup for him against Waldo Cortez Acosta. They're putting him against just a straight boxer. I mean, that's essentially all he's going to come in here to do. He's not going to go for takedowns. Uh, he's coming in to box you up. He's not overly dangerous. Yes, he has some knockouts in the UFC, but a lot of decisions as well. Um, and I'm not wildly high on his resume. Jared Vandera, Chase Sherman, um, 45-year-old Andre Arlovsky. Uh, I think this is a, a real test for him and a guy that is not going to go away. Nine-inch reach advantage for Despagne and massive, massive power on the dude. Uh, I don't think he's going to be able to showboat uh, like he did in Andre Arlovsky's face while essentially even uh, on the scorecards. Uh, Despagne is not going to let that fly, so I will be going with the big boy. Next up, we're in St. Louis. The STL sniper is going to snipe. So that's who I'm going to go with. Breakdown short, simple. Sean Woodson in his hometown. I think he gets it done. Uh, and then to the co-main event. I know Buckley from here, but I will actually be taking the under in this one. Uh, I like the way these guys match up. Going to be interesting. Ruzabayev cutting down to 170. 6'5 at 170. Going to be fascinating to see if he makes weight uh, successfully. That height differential, 7 inches, could definitely come into play. We have seen height matter in fights. I mean, go back Trey Waters on this card as well against Josh Quinlan. The height mattered. Uh, Zara Farron versus Josian Nunez. The height played a huge uh, part in that one. Seven inches is, is going to be a massive disparity. Uh, so I think Buckley's going to come in here looking for a highlight. And I think he's either going to get it or Ruzabayev is going to put one on him. If you look, pat, look in their last few fights, last 14 for each of them, Buckley, 11 of his last 14 under the two and a half. Ruzabayev, 13 of his last 14. Both of these guys are very capable of getting finishes. Uh, and I think that's what happens here. I think someone gets got. Uh, to the parlays. Violence parlay. Uh, I got this one minus 163. You can actually get it better on DraftKings Sportsbook right now at minus 154. Uh, under in McKinney Rebovix. Under in WCA Despagne. Under in Lewis Nascimento. And then... Last but not least, Mateus Rebecki and Carlos Olberg in a parlay. Uh, Diego Fajera. Um, last time he fought someone from Poland. Last time he fought someone named Mateus. Did not work out well for him. There's there's your deep breakdown on that one. And then ladies' night. Uh, this is a pro, pro Olberg podcast. Got him getting it done. And those are the picks. Love it. You'll see. So nothing on Lomachenko, huh? No, I'll just be sitting back watching that one, enjoying it. I think that one's 10 p.m., uh, I thought it was going to be in the morning, but I, th I guess it's, I think that one is happening Sunday morning. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it very much. Hey, if you like this video, give us the old thumbs up, subscribe as well. You can get many more of these videos on the channel. So please do that. We would love you forever if you did so.